What's up everyone? How you all doing? My name is Jay. You are watching Tech Hype and in today's video we are going to talk about the iOS 14.6. I installed it on my iPhone 12 and I installed it on my iPhone 7 and today we are going to have a quick look at this OS and should you update to this OS or not. This is a surprise OS so what's new and all let's see and talk about that in today's video. Alright, so the first thing is that after updating your device, it really do feel a little bit faster. I mean, especially my iPhone 7 does feel fast after installing this update. My iPhone 12, the performance is always great. This is the latest and the greatest device. So the performance on this device is always really great. But on my iPhone 7, especially after installing this update, it feels much more better. And in this video, we are going to focus more on older devices because older devices get more impacted after installing the update than the latest devices because latest devices handle pretty much everything every update like a champ well there are not really any major new feature like we saw in the ios 14.5 betas that we got the face id with mask feature there are not really major features in this firmware but there is new security features which we can't really see but it is in the os so there is that and then we have some podcast new features that also we can't see but it is there in the code so there are new podcast features new security updates the modern firmware is changed and the build number is here let's talk about the new build number now all right so this is the new build number of this update and it has the f and the end of the update and i'm actually first of all really surprised why apple released the 14.6 beta 1 before releasing the 14.5 to public by the way 14.5 to the public is going to be released next week which will be monday or most probably tuesday so these two are the dates i'm really sure this will be the date that we will see the official version to public and i actually after installing this update on my iphone 7 i got some storage back which is not the case with the beta 1 actually and it was 4 gigabyte almost 4 gigabyte update so i got around 500 mbs back after installing this update which is actually really good i guess and especially if you have a 32 gig iphone 6s or the 16 gigabyte iphone 6s or iphone 7 with 32 gigabytes just really good if you are installing this update all in all at the end of the day this update didn't really brought or fixed any feature that obviously on the rc of ios 14.5 we didn't really had any major problems with it because it was the rc and it was nearly perfect so this is the speed type of improvement that i can say of the ios 14.5 so this is just a speed boost and i see apple releasing four or maybe three betas of this and then moving on and releasing it to public because we are less than like 40 uh it is like 45 days away from wwdc and there we will see ios 15 and i'm really hyped for ios 15 and i will be doing a wish list of ios 15 so you do not have to miss that video out all right so you can subscribe and turn on notifications talking about the battery life when i was updating my iphone 7 i lost a lot of battery life while updating if you will see a dip here i have this dip here and uh, i lost a lot of battery life while updating and after updating i did put this device on charge and uh, after charge it is at 90 percent and from then the battery life is looking really strong considering it's a beta one well along with this update apple also released the mac os 11.4 beta one to developers yesterday and to Today, Apple released the watchOS 7.5 beta 1, iOS 14.6 beta 1 to developers. So that's pretty much it for today's video and uh, I'm gonna end this video in a really good note. I will be making a video on watchOS 2 so if you do own an Apple watch you gotta look uh, for that video because uh, uh, I will be posting it really soon. Peace out and I'll meet you all in the very next episode. If that video is already up it will be linked below the like button. I'll meet you all in the very next episode.